Turning now to the building excitement for West Sacramento and surrounding areas. Sutter Health Park will be the temporary new home of a major league baseball team. The big announcement about the Oakland A's is crossing the bridge into neighboring Sacramento. Depending on the, the series, who's here for the weekend, people may come for the entire weekend, which I think is great from an economic standpoint. The temporary move will be for three MLB seasons while the A's wait to go to their expected permanent home in Las Vegas. And that will start in 2025 with an option for a four season ahead of the team's transition to Las Vegas. The ballpark, of course, home to the Sacramento River Cats, which is owned by the Sacramento Kings. The team will be simply known as the Athletics or the A's for short without a city designation. And Sacramento Mayor Daryl Steinberg called today the stuff of dreams as the region prepares to welcome the A's to the to us. And KCRA3's Leanne Denier joins us live from Sutter Health Park. And Sacramento officials are already talking about the new faces and the new dollars the team could be bringing into the region. So Leanne, this is certainly the talk of the town. What are people saying? Well, absolutely. With 81 home ge games this season, local leaders told us they see 81 opportunities for folks to grab a bite before heading to the ballpark, a drink after. And for out of town baseball fans, they say, go ahead, stay the whole weekend. Okay. Sacramento right. Mayor Daryl Steinberg sporting a new green hat Thursday. We will make the A's and Major League Baseball proud. The mayor speaking hours after the athletics announced it will play ball across the river in West Sacramento, at least temporarily. I have no doubt that our fans, our people, our ownership and our community will wow them all. The A's will play at Sutter Health Park for at least the next three seasons before their proposed new stadium in Las Vegas is built. To bring in a Major League Baseball team to this region is a big deal. Mike Testa, president and CEO of Visit Sacramento, says they've looked at the economic impact Major League Baseball has had on other cities and what it could look like here. I think it's similar to the Kings. Certainly people will come down pregame, go to dinner, uh, go to bars, go to restaurants, and then postgame. You know, they, they stay and they hang out and they make a night of it. Fans of the visiting team, he says, might just stay the weekend there's national television exposure. I mean, these games are broadcast across the country, so it's a nice postcard to Sacramento and West Sacramento, and we're, we're thrilled to have it happen. But not all A's fans are cheering. I'm an Oakland A's fan. I will always be an Oakland A's fan, but as far as my continued support, that, that'll, that won't happen anymore. Ray Perez is among fans who say the move, even if temporary, doesn't sit well. I don't want to steal somebody else's team from another city. He believes the A's belong in Oakland. I think those true diehard A's fans that really embrace the green and the gold, you know, I don't think we're going to come out. I'm not coming and I live down the street from the park. The Greater Sacramento Economic Council estimates there will be about a $650 million economic impact. This is one of those days we will mark in time. And while Steinberg acknowledges his own mixed feelings about the A's leaving Oakland, he says keeping the team in Northern California and bringing Major League Baseball to the Sacramento region is a win in his book. You come down here on a weekend, it is packed, people are having a good time, and that's only going to grow and only going to get better. And the mayor told us directly today he sees this and is treating this like an audition with the hopes of having a permanent Major League Baseball team in the Sacramento region sometime in the future. At Sutter Health Park, Leon Denier, KCRA 3 News. It'll, it'll be interesting to see how Sacramento and West Sacramento step up to the occasion. Yeah, it's going to be yeah. great. All right, Leon, thank you so much. And while some fans are not happy with the A's move, other fans in our area are excited about having an MLB club right in their backyard. I think that's huge. I think that's definitely um, a great uh, opportunity for the economy of West Sacramento, for them to build a lot of revenue and sell a lot of tickets and hopefully a lot of fans are at the games. I think it's really cool. Um, I'm from Seattle, so I'm a Mariners fan, right? So I think the possibility of having the Mariners come here is really exciting. Hopefully it'll be a little more difficult to get into and attract more fans and sell out and more business for downtown and for Sacramento and everything. So it should be good, a good move for everybody. Lots of positives, and mm -hmm. we can't forget West Sacramento, where all this will be centered. We spoke to the city's mayor today. She's most excited for the local businesses. 
We've been dreaming about this, and it's just a historic day. We are going to embrace you, A's, and your fans are going to have a great time in this beautiful bar park. She is stoked. We <laughs> spoke to some of those business owners around Sutter Health Park today, and the owner of the Treehouse Cafe is making more room for the fans. They're thinking ahead, expanding the outdoor area and planning to bring in local food trucks as well. Staff are already thinking about A's themed menu items. And the Riverwalk and Riverfront area has some developments in the works as well, like a hotel, some condos, and more restaurants. Yeah, all these businesses thinking pretty fast, right? They should, yeah. And the A's moving out of Oakland has been in the conversation since 2000 when the owners discussed the possibility of moving to San Jose with Major League Baseball. In, 2020, or in 2002, rather, the effort shifted back to the East Bay with the team exploring the possibility of a new stadium in downtown Oakland. That would go on until 2004, when ownership started looking into a ballpark and a new ballpark at the Coliseum. By 2005, a new ownership group takes over, which includes current owner John Fisher, and they announced they would focus on building a new stadium somewhere in Oakland. But the following year, the A's announced plans to build a stadium in Fremont, but the team would scrap those plans by 2009 because of delays and opposition. The A's were back to square one at that point, and in 2009, Oakland proposed a waterfront ballpark along the estuary. That proposal was shelved by 2011. The city instead proposed a new development called Coliseum City, but that would go nowhere. In 2012, the team again looked at San Jose, and they proposed building a stadium downtown, but MLB denied the team's request to move to the South Bay. In 2014, the team signed a 10-year lease to remain playing at the Coliseum. John Fisher would become the team's new majority owner in 2016. He hires Dave Caval as team president and head of the team's stadium project. After negotiations for a ballpark near Lake Merritt fell through, in 2017, the A's pitched a waterfront ballpark at Howard Terminal in 2018, but that plan also stalled and the pandemic, of course, did not help. That brings us to last year. The MLB approved the A's move to Las Vegas. The team reached a deal to build a stadium on the Strip. Approvals for the ballpark are still in progress at this point. It's not expected to open until 2028 at the earliest. One big question, though. What about the Sacramento River Cats? Major League Baseball says it's working with the A's right now and the River Cats. The league wants to to make sure the schedules are built to meet both MLB and minor league guidelines. Each team will have dedicated space and the stadium will likely need additional work to upgrade clubhouses and other facilities to host a major league team. But we don't know how much the A's are planning to pay or how much they're going to how much they have to pay to play in West Sacramento. And we have much more coverage on this story on the KCRA 3 News app and KCRA.com right now. Find an in-depth timeline of the recent events that led to today's announcement.